Hello, Crafty Buddies. This is Erin Glenn. I am the Aimless Squirrel. <laughs> and I have three very simple, very inexpensive thrift flips for you guys today for your spring decor. And I'm not going to make an appearance in this one because it has just been one of those kind of weeks. So, I hope that you enjoy these three very simple projects and we are just going to go right on ahead and get right into them. Guys, I was extremely excited when I found these at a thrift store. Um, they're plinth boards. They were in a box of like five or six. They're very, very old. The box was kind of coming apart and um, the stickers on the back, and that's what I just showed you, they were rough, y'all. They did not, they just kind of came apart and they just were not coming off easily. So I had to use my heat tool and sand it and it was, it was an ordeal. But everything else from that point on was easy. And so inexpensive. So they, I figured, cost me about 83 cents each. And then I'm putting on some Barely Lilac from, I think, Folk Art. And I end up actually only doing one coat because, as you can see here, like, you, you can still see the wood grain through it. And it actually kind of gives it, because it's soaked into the wood a bit, it kind of gives it kind of a pinkish kind of color and I just thought that was really pretty. So then I'm using the Distress Oxides in Dusty Concord and uh, Rustic Wilderness and the very 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 old <laughs> background stamp. I think it's called French Script or something like that from Stampin' Up. It's y'all it's 15 to 20 years old. <laughs> um, it's old. And then I had some um, rub-on tra transfold. <laughs> I developed a list. Rub on transfers from 49 and Market. And I just kind of put it all together. So I did the stamping in purple first, and then I added some green. And then I go through and put my rub on transfers on. So I just, you know, do what it says. I rub them on <laughs> with the tool that they come with. Um, it's very, very simple. And, you know, you just want to check um, every now and then. Um, making sure that it is actually stuck down before you peel, peel the, oh my gosh, peel the backing up while wow, that didn't want to come out. And then, you know, just kind of take that piece and uh, burnish it down just to make sure it's down really nicely. Uh, I don't show it anywhere in the video, but I do um, paint the back as well, obviously. And I also just kind of go over the whole thing uh, with a sealer. Um, let's see, I think I used Color Shot uh, Clear Sealer. And, you know, in this one and one of the other ones, I kind of go up into that top piece because I don't want them to be just naked and looking like I forgot about them. So, for my personal taste, these are a little bit busy. But I do think that they're very, very pretty. I love the colors. It all looks so pretty together. And the way that I stamp them... And put the transfers on there. You can display them together or separately. Personally, I think separately would be better. But for the price that I paid, I mean, you're talking all in. I probably paid $1.25 for each of them. So I think that's, that's a pretty good price for what I ended out with. I think they're very pretty. This one is so easy. I'm not even really sure it can be called a flip or craft or whatever. <laughs> um, so this little thing is, is made in Mexico. The sticker's still on there. And it's so, so pretty. I love the um, detail on the front. It originally, I believe, was like a sconce, but um, this is how I bought it. I think I spent like a dollar 47 I think on it anyway I decided to use it as a cloche and it fits perfectly on one of these little rounds from Hobby Lobby it uh, they are $3.99 for four of them um, they generally don't go on sale I don't believe because usually when the unfinished wood goes on sale it's 40% off anything five dollars or higher so I don't you know they don't cost enough <laughs> I guess to go on sale um, anyway, so I did kind of a faux stain, although, you know, is it really a faux stain? Because, I mean, my wood is stained, so I don't, I don't know. Anyway, it's a uh, melted chocolate uh, paint from Apple Barrel that I just watered down just a little bit and just slapped it on there. <laughs> And then I don't show it here, but I do sand it pretty thoroughly because you can see there's a lot of um, 
fuzzy looking wood <laughs> around the edges. It was it was pretty rough. So I did have to go around and sand it around the edges and soften all that. I just pointed out there. But it worked out just perfectly. I stuck a little Dollar Tree bunny in there and a little bit of greenery. And it just looks so sweet and so pretty. But, you know, I don't... Of course, you don't have to use it for just spring. You definitely could... Uh, put something else in there and use it other times during the year. I just think it's so sweet. <laughs> I know some of you 80s people have probably seen these before. So <laughs> it's just a swan, very 80s looking wooden swan. Um, it's very shiny and had some, you know, kind of sealer on it. I sanded that off. And, you know, the originally you, you hung them on the wall and you put some kind of floral in it. I know that somebody I knew growing up had one of these. I cannot think of who, but somebody did. But anyway, I paid about, did, I think 50 cents for it at the thrift store. So I sanded it. I'm going over the whole thing with white paint. And y'all, I think that paint is nearing the end of its life. It was so thick. I don't know if you noticed when I first started putting it on. All right, I don't show it, but I do put two coats. It definitely needed it. And this is the white chalk paint by Waverly. So I coated, like I said, two coats all the way around. I even do one coat on the back except for that black metal piece. I left that as is. And that's what it looked like with one, so it definitely needed two. I think in some areas I even did three. So I don't know why I didn't get it on camera, but I did this little black piece here kind of its beak and then up into where its eye would be with a very, very small brush. And I used ink in uh, Waverly chalk paint. And then <clears throat> I went through and distressed it. So I'm kind of talking about there where I'm going to go around and distress it. And you can see that, you know, I got finally my solid coverage. And so, you know, I'll go through and distress, especially that black area to kind of soften it a little bit. And there it is. It's got some age to it. Like I said, it kind of softens that top part a little bit. It's not so harsh uh, between the black and the white. And I went around the edges. And then I did sand kind of over the whole thing just very, very gently. Just to kind of give it a really, really smooth, that smooth, chalky finish. I did go over it and seal it with Mod Podge. Um, just to be on the safe side. Make sure nothing, nothing happens to it. And I just used a Dollar Tree stand like a little plate stand or photo stand to set it on because I think it looks prettier just sitting by itself and hanging. But there you have it. Well, all right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed. If you liked it, then be sure to hit that like button. If you loved it, go ahead and subscribe. And if you really loved it, then share, comment, and hit the bell. Make sure you don't miss any more of my videos. Thank you for hanging out with me today, and I hope to see you back again next time.